what is up everybody super weird right i'm beaver trapping and it's still end of summer august i don't know 27th 28th day <clears throat> somewhere around that area so i got a call from um uh from some people sorry still have to sleep got called from some, from some people and they said hey um <clears throat> got a bad problem with the beaver they're cutting down all our trees around our condo association and we're wondering if we could you know get you in or take care of them and i came and checked out the damage and let me tell you this the beaver are really cutting right now like it's end of august not even september yet usually you know mid-september third week of september they start cutting pretty good um and i've seen this around different places you know in the states north america where the beaver have been really already cutting trees so that makes me worried for a really bad winter and a really early one maple trees are already turning here anyway <clears throat> what i did was there's a main channel that comes in from the lake i i've drove by this place lots of times there are two, maybe three big beaver lodges on this small slope here, but there's one main channel that comes in from the lake. It Ys, and down on this side, they're cutting at the very end quite a bit, extending that channel down. This end also cutting a ton of trees at that end, and I'm extending that channel down. What I did was I made three sets on each side, all 330s. Um, I think all but one of them are actually a dive set. So we're going to see if we can get some beaver right here today. And... I will reset a trap if I catch a beaver for you guys. All right, get at her. All right, guys, give you an indication of how much these beaver have already started cutting. Right here, right here, these trees right there, all the way down there. Look at all these trees are cut off. This is all ready. They had fencing up to take the beaver down. But they've extended this channel all the way from, this wasn't here in previous years, all the way here, back to there, and they started cutting down there. Well, <clears throat> they were cutting here. I got a couple traps down here, hoping to deter them. It doesn't look like there's nothing in the first two. I don't think. No, there's nothing in the first two. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Whew, that's kind of scary. Should have beaver in these first sets right away. Ow! I'll check my other set. I see beaver. There we go. Right there. You can see fur floating. Excellent, excellent example of a dive set, okay? You guys see that? That is a natural dive. You can build them like I do. Um, but this one here is an actual natural area where they dive underneath the set or dive underneath a tree here. You can see it's my stake. It's very shallow here. Pull this beaver out. That's a big beaver too. Oh, he must have oh, wrapped himself, wrapped himself around the tree or something here. I'm not sure. Or um, he rolled. That's what happened. He rolled here. There we go. Look at that. There we go, you guys. That's a two-year-old beaver right there. That's back here chewing trees down. Just so you guys know. Okay. This, this is like a, just a deadly scenario right here, okay? Because <clears throat> these beaver, they come swimming. They're used to seeing this log every single day. They come up here, and right here, it's, you know, it's only, you know, I don't know, maybe 14, 15 inches deep. You set your conibear bear on the bottom here. They come up, they swim under that tree right into your set, and right, and I mean right by the head. You, you mean couldn't get a better head catch on this beaver. I'm gonna reset this trap for you guys. Okay. 
and now this time of year beavers are not worth a dime you know literally nothing oh there's a brand spanking new trap you can't tell she's all shined up so there's some power there definitely some power there oh yeah get your foot out of the way mr beaver it'll make it easier to set this trap here we go all right we're gonna get that beaver over there got my 330 here oh gosh let's see here that stick right there goes right here this is just a guide stick I shove this at the bottom so when the beavers come under if they bump that with their nose they slide over but with the way I have this trap positioned they come under you know and go directly into that 330 anyway go set this this there we go okay 330s reset when you set the trap like this make sure and I can't express more make sure to wire this safety up so it does not fall down and catch on the jaws and you know affect you trying to catch a beaver run your stake right through this here and I can feel with my feet right here exactly where this run is at so I'm gonna put this my guide stick I'm gonna put this right exactly where I think the beaver are traveling at underneath that log uh, get this in the bottom I had a hatchet with yesterday and I forgot it today <clears throat> get that in the bottom my swivel stick here that goes right between the jaws of the trap keep that trap from swinging back and forth there we go yep right again that is set perfectly that there that's here yeah all right well that's one beaver down my let's see something in here today maybe maybe not oh there's because there's a beaver you guys perfect head catching that beaver nice probably a you know probably a two-year-old again not one of the giant ones from the lodge I don't think that beaver is actually Pretty. I've got rigor mortis going on. I got that beaver very low in the set. That tells me I should really. I'm gonna move my trap down a couple inches on this stick. But <clears throat> it's another, you know, another. It's an adult. But so now next. Well, that next spring this beaver will be out making its own colony, or. Um, this spring they could have kicked this beaver out and made its own colony also, but they decided not to sometimes They don't always people always say they're gonna kick the young out But they don't always kick them out. That's just a fact. I've caught in, you know I've caught in several Blanket beaver out of one lodge before You know because colonies can get just big and they just keep growing Ugh, This ain't easy. It's Belial 330 on this log here we go here we go now this set here let me see here I'll see where my trap was I can see where my trap was on this stake I'm actually gonna move it down as you can see I'm gonna move it down a few inches hopefully get that next beaver centered right in the 330 a little bit better and now what I have going on here <clears throat> I'll hop in the water quick Oh, there's a channel here. 
most of the channel is a pretty muddy bottom unless you can find a pinch point like I did here. The beaver are diving underneath this vegetation here. <clears throat> And the bottom is very hard. That means they're very close to the bottom when they come underneath and exit out the other side. So you can see the, on the last beaver we caught, I switched the strings down because it was a much shallower set and situation. This one here, I actually have the springs compressed outward. There we go. There we go. This in here takes a little bit more skill because when you do this set, you have to guesstimate where your trap is off the bottom. You can use your foot, but I don't recommend it for somebody that's a novice. I do use it myself when I first make my set. But, okay, so this trap is, you can see this trap is nice and solid. When I push this into the bottom and get it where I want it, which is going to be right about there. I'm going to push this down to the bottom. Okay. There's my trap. I'm looking at the angle where that beaver's coming through at. I need to turn it just a little bit. There we go. It's going to be a straight on shot now for these beaver coming through. Yeah, this is my swivel stick once again in the jaws of the trap. Push it down the bottom. Nice and good. There we go. That trap is solid. Will not swivel back and forth if I try to twist it. Keep your feet away from it or you're going to lose it. Well, you won't lose it, but you'll get really sore. While you're your trap off so no beavers can get away with your traps. Here on my face somehow <clears throat> okay now the reason the reason I made the set that way versus in the springs like I was in the other one on the other one there was a much tighter space for that beaver coming through on the bottom so I can pack those springs and that trap over there covers that hole perfectly here is not quite the case you have a little bit bigger area for the beaver to come through um, and it's just just off the bottom so I pull those springs apart shove in the bottom and that way the trap is more off a of bottom and it's a, I mean it really comes with um, it really comes with experience you know I caught thousands of beavers so over the years you know I've perfected this in my mind of how deep each set should be but hard bottom you know or harder bottom like this you want that trap you know probably three inches off the bottom um, hard hard bottom where they only have a small space you compress those springs you know run one stick through it so it's right on the bottom or you can put it in a each stand or just pull the spring straight out set it on the bottom either way but there we go there's another tree chopper down all right you see I got a 330 right there and then there's this really narrow spot where if you when when you get down the water so if it, to me, when I looked, it looks like they were swimming in with their head up because it's a very narrow area. They could never, they'd never get trees through there. But when you get in the water, this, the area underneath where they're diving under is very open and hard. But anyway, here, let's, you see that guy plain as day. It looks like a pretty good sized beaver. Oh yeah, that's a big beaver. That's one of the big beavers we're looking for. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is a big beaver right there. See, we caught a couple two-year-olds, and now got that big one right by the head. That's one of the adults from this from this lodge. Well, I'm gonna. I'm sure you guys have reset, you know, each sand before. I'm gonna just reset this off a of video, and then I'm gonna place it back in the run for you. All right, I got that big beaver here. So you can actually see these trees right here were not here yesterday. You know, there was that one. That beaver was cutting back here somehow I don't know I got through like I said but right back here I'm gonna move this I put this log there as a, as a diving sticker right here this is nice and wide and kind of deeper and hollow and these beaver are diving you know when they come in here or there sometimes and um, I actually added that diving stick 
here's a here's my eight stand. What I did was like you can feel right where the right where they're coming out. And you're just gonna place that eight stand right in the center of that run and just push it down all the way down to the bottom. <clears throat> I just push it all the way down to the bottom. Now that that is secure. Um, I put my foot on the top usually and just push down because sometimes that trap will pop up off of it. There we go. Yeah. And basically I just put this log over it here. So if the beaver do come swimming up, they see that and they want to dive under it anyway. Results, giant beaver in a trap. So, boom, baby. Hey everybody. So, that's the end of this video. I'm, you know, I wasn't going to make it drag out for an hour. Um, but, summer beaver trapping, it, I mean it's not quite the first of August yet. I mean September. So it's still summertime. Um, leaves are starting to change a little bit, but they're not going to start chewing heavily. You wouldn't think for another three weeks. Anyway, <clears throat> target those areas, you know, target channels. Any place you can find them traveling at all. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky and they're doing some chewing back here. So I got six sets that are disguised in this, you know, whole setup here to take beaver. Um, this is a big mucky pond. I mean, you guys, there's so many different ways you guys can catch beaver. But this is definitely a very effective one. Uh, three sprung traps throughout the day, throughout the three checks so far. And three big beaver. Two two-year-olds and one very large, you know, one very large female. That's, I don't know. If I had to guess, it was probably close to 60 pounds. But anyway, a little trapping for you guys. I'm going to put up some more trapping videos this winter, hopefully. It's my plan anyway. Um, please like, share, subscribe, share my videos, and love life. Peace out.